Hello my dear followers. Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to be informed about new videos. Baron and Sabiha Hanim are very surprised when they see Sevahir in front of them. When Sevahir asks, weren't you waiting for me? Baron answers, yes, we were waiting for Mr. Sadat and then calls Sadat and cannot reach him. Then he invites it to the table and says, sorry, Mr. Sadat didn't say anything, we had an agreement, he was going to sell it to me. When Sevahir talks as if he didn't know about it and says that if he had known, he wouldn't have bought it, Baron asks him to sell it to him. But Sevahir says that this business is very profitable and implies that he does not want to sell it. While Sevahir eats his soup, everyone at the table is in deep thoughts. Yasmin tells Harun that it's okay to work with you, but I have some conditions, and everyone gets curious. After dinner, when we sit in the living room, Sevahir asks, you increased the security, I hope there is no problem. Baron dismisses the issue by saying it was necessary. When Sevahir says that he supports Dylan's project, Baron reminds him that they will hold the meetings in the mansion. While Ghoul is offering coffee, Sevahir says, I asked for my coffee to be sugar-free. If I had an employee like that, I wouldn't keep him at my door for a minute. Baron Ghoul gets angry because he is not our employee, but part of our family. When Ghoul says I'll make a new one right away, Firet says, no need, Ghoul, it's late, you can't drink coffee at this hour, and rejects Sevahir. Thereupon, Sevahir and Sabiha Hanim get up. When Sabiha Lady corners Sevahir at the door and gets angry asking him what are you trying to do, Sevahir leaves, saying there is no place, no time, we will meet more. Firet comes to Ghoul and shouts, I said you won't serve you, why don't you listen to me? They argue when Ghoul replies, if you are ashamed of me, you won't make me your wife. At the end of the night, Dylan tries to understand what happened. But Baron is very upset and says good night and turns away. When Dylan bends down and looks at him, he asks, isn't it because of Sevahir Bay that you are not sleeping? Baron says that nothing escapes his attention and explains that he is uncomfortable meeting Sevahir so much. Then he says to Dylan, if you are fine, I am fine, if you are with me. After Dylan says, you will always be fine from now on, because I have no intention of leaving your side, they hug and go to bed. Sevahir does sports and asks Sir for his phone, so he can say good morning to our loved ones. While Dylan is humming a song in the bathroom, Baron wakes up to the sound of his voice. Then he tells Dylan that there is something on his face and pulls him to the bed next to him. While they are getting closer, a mass message comes from Mr. Sevahir, saying that he will hold a meeting in his office. Miss Cater says good morning to Ghoul, but Ghoul's face is sullen and she does not answer. When Miss Cater asks what happened, Ghoul says, I have to get away from the mansion for a while. When Miss Cater goes to her, Ghoul cries and hugs her, saying it can't happen while she is here. Baron is very angry and says to Sevahir, didn't I tell you that the meetings will be here yesterday? Dylan says how long will I stay locked in this mansion? Baron says look outside, life goes on. But Baron leaves, saying you won't get out of this relationship and that's it. When Yasmin pastes a list of working conditions on the wall, Harun says, there is no such thing anymore, let's build a shop on it. Baron calls Sevahir and gets angry because I told you yesterday that the meetings will be in the mansion, why are you acting on my word? Sevahir says I didn't say okay, also where was he seen? The boss, who is holding a meeting at his employee's house, says Dylan can not attend if he wants. While Miss Sabiha comes and scolds her asking where did this partnership come from, Sevahir says that he learned that Haven reported him. While Baron is in his study, Mr. Kudret and Chihan come and tell him that the man in the images did not enter or leave a tavern. When Baron says let's investigate this place thoroughly, Mr. Kudret and Chihan go to investigate. Ms. Sabiha threatens Sevahir to not trust his intelligence too much and leaves. When Dylan goes to the garden of the mansion, she hears a crying sound and calls and sees Ghoul crying. When Dylan insists on what happened, Ghoul warns him that he married Firet so that no one will hear about it. 
Dylan is very happy when he hears this news and asks why didn't you tell anyone? Ghoul says we couldn't say anything when Chihan disappeared, maybe it was better this way, I have to go without thinking about this marriage for a while. Dylan supports my brothers by telling them to go and stay there no matter how much they push them. Meanwhile, Baron comes and asks if there is a problem. Dylan says, no, nothing, we are having trouble with Ghoul, let's go inside. When Harun made a list of his own and hung it up, they started arguing. As Ghoul leaves a letter for Fireit, takes her suitcase, and walks away with tears in her eyes, they see Azade Hanim and Hassan following her. Miss Cater sees them from behind and comes to them and says, you did it. Baron and Dylan argue by the pool about not going to the meeting. When Baron comes in, Dylan runs after him and says, I can't live in prison like this all my life, I understand it's very difficult for both of us, when Azade brings a wedding invitation and gives it to Baron. Firet comes to his room and sees Ghoul's letter. In the letter, Ghoul wrote, You will be ashamed of me, obviously I fought, but it didn't work, I gave up. Firet bursts into tears and falls to the ground with the letter in his hand. While Dylan is crying in her room, Baron comes and sees her and says, I don't want to upset you, I am aware of what I took away from you. Dylan says, I know you don't want it to happen like this. When Baron says to Dylan, you are my precious, it won't happen if anything happens to you. Dylan says, I was so scared that something would happen to you. My childhood was spent running away in fear. I don't want to be afraid anymore. Then Dylan says, the project I have been dreaming of will come true after working hard and enters the sink with an attitude. There he looks at the water and thinks, while Baron looks out of the room and thinks. Firet immediately calls Ghoul. When Ghoul sees that he is calling, she remembers Firet's words, you won't have to wear these from now on, and puts the phone to busy. Even though Firet calls again and again, Ghoul does not answer. When Seddet tells Severi that our baby is starting to show up, don't tire yourself, Severi says, I look like a corner pillow, I don't do anything anyway. Then he says we need to buy a mother's bed for the baby. Firet comes and tries to persuade Lady Cater to tell Ghoul's location. Even though Miss Cater says I have to apologize to her, I hurt her without realizing it, she should forgive me, Mr. Firet says, this is my daughter's decision, Mr. Firet, I can't say it. While Yasmin and Harun were doing business, Yasmin burned his hand and Harun panicked and ran to get burn cream. Miss Sabiha, Firet and Sevahir expect Dylan to the meeting. While Sevahir says that if Dylan will not come to the meeting, we will not talk about his work, Baron and Dylan pass through the door. You can share your valuable opinions in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for more videos. See you in the next video. Take care of yourself. Goodbye.